Glenn McGinnis is scheduled to be executed in two weeks for a murder he committed when he was 17. I was just young, dumb, doing things without thinking of motive, doing things without thinking of consequences and moving my life, and at the same time, not living it. I just barely started shaving uh, when I came to jail. Um, mm -hmm. My mind is still not developed. I mean, I still don't know a lot of stuff. Leo Little was convicted of kidnapping and murdering a San Antonio accountant. The jury deliberated only 35 minutes before sentencing him to death. Mostly I think about the past, you know. Um, not much of a future left for me to think about. Uh... Well, they, they call me Jerry Lewis. My little baby Jerry Lewis and that. This is Arroyo. Randy Arroyo was still in high school when he was convicted of participating in the murder of a U.S. Air Force captain during a carjacking. Arroyo was sentenced to death even though he did not pull the trigger. I'm still learning now. I, you know, I'm still, I believe I'm still a kid now because I, there's lots to learn in life. Program called Reclaim. Instead of going to prison, the focus is on rehabilitation instead of punishment. A recent University of Cincinnati study found that kids participating in these programs are less likely to commit another crime. The thing is that if you look at a lot of Western European countries and European countries in general, I mean, a lot of them, they have incredibly low recidivism rates. So when people get out of prison after doing something wrong and, uh, you know, serving their time, they're done. They don't really get back in there, and they're not in this revolving door of crime. And they say the main reason is that they actually focus on the idea of rehabilitation when people are behind bars. That they're going to try to actually invest something into these people to make them productive members of society and to make them uh, be able to function on the outside. With